everybody. How's everybody doing? Welcome once again at TejanoConcerts.com TV show. I'm Hector Rodriguez, and I am accompanied by one of the most beautiful ladies in town, our good friend, Jessica. Jessica Rodríguez, hola amigos, ¿cómo están? Pues aquí estoy con Hector a Rodríguez, aquí afuera de la frontera Vivo Bar, esperando ansiosamente a nuestro amigo Michael Salgado. No, 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 this is not looking good. I better call an ambulance, man. <laughs> She's going to faint. Oh, I don't know what's going to happen with you. Amigas, por favor, todas las que están escuchando, please go into your Facebook, go to TejanoConcerts.com, you'll see videos of Michael Salgado. Oh my gosh, es un amor. I just met him inside. He's incredible. Chicas, se van a enamorar. Okay, vengan, vengan man, esta noche, man, por favor. Man, man, man. I'm glad I did. I'm glad she was an interview, and it would have been like a, an hour and a half interview with her. But hey, we got Michael Salgado coming up. We got a lot of brand new videos. We got a lot of new things to talk about. So please stick around. Remember, TejanoConcerts.com. Be sure to visit us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. See you soon. This week's Tejano Concerts calendar of events is brought to you by BNET Radio. With the music you grew up with, Themas. This week's Tejano Concerts calendar of events. At the shoot in Baytown, Texas. At Showdown's Dance Hall and Saloon in Houston, Texas. At BB Wolf's in Stafford, Texas. At Graham Central Station in San Antonio, Texas. At New West in Dallas, Texas. Be sure to visit TejanoConcerts.com website as well as Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube for more information. Welcome back, guys. We're sitting here talking to Michael Salgado. Man, he's taking the time to visit with us a little bit before his show. Appreciate that, Michael, Thank once you. again. Hey, uh, when we were talking earlier and you guys were uh, you telling me about your, your dad and your brother and everybody, uh, that's a good deal because you're with family performing. Right. But when you're traveling, you leave family behind, man. Yeah, you do, you know. Um and I've got my kiddos as well, and yeah. so you know, you've got uh, mom and dad, you know, sisters that stay behind, and you know, and, and uh, but I think everybody's got gotten used to it throughout the years. You know, it's been a lot of years now that we've yeah. been on the road because, you know, I've been in the business uh, professionally about 19 years, Correct. but even before that, we were playing, you know, in the bars and starting out, right. and so we've been in, on the road all our life. And in, so, in doing that, I remember the 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 big hit song that for me that uh, where I was like, "What's well, Michael Salgado? It's Michael Salgado," and I was like, "Man, it's Ramon Ayala." They're like, "No, it's Michael Salgado." <laughs> Cruz de Madera. Man. Yeah, Cruz de Madera. That when that song came out, and I was living in San Antonio at the time. Uh -huh. uh, my neighbors across from me were like, "Hector, do you have the Michael Salgado CD?" And I'm like, "Hey, man." I work with Manny Music, man. Slow down. What are you talking about right? at the time? But uh, your your song just took off, man. I mean, yeah, that, was, that song is just, even today, is still a classic to me, man. It's strong as ever. Yeah, la gente la pide bastante. I remember coming to do promotion back in 95 here in Houston. And I remember, you know, back in the day, estaba uh, Kaku. Yeah, yeah. And I remember taking the song out there, and they played it on the radio, and, you know, just the phone. All the lights on the lit phones up. lit up. You it looked know? like a Christmas tree. Yeah, you know, yeah. people were, they had all kinds of different ideas. You know, they were like, well, he's probably 40, 50 years yes. old. And at that time, you know, I was in my 20s. And so um, it was just a voice, you know, it was a little different. And and um, some people thought it was Lo uh, Nuevo de Ramon Ayala. And so, you know, it was, it, the song did really, it was uh, phenomenal. You know, it just, from like one day to the next, it was like, well, who's Michael Salgado? No? And, and uh, so really glad, you know, and it very, uh, uh, happy that the people like the yeah. song and todavía la gente la pide bastante and, yeah. and uh, pues que bueno, no, gracias yeah, a Dios, it's estamos a aquí. It's a blessing. Definitely. And I remember the first time when I saw you guys as a group um, back in the day was at the, remember the TV show in the Valley, uh, Tejano Country? Right. And they had done a, uh, an opening, all the guests were there. You and your group showed up, decked out, real nice, ostrich skin boots, and I'm standing over there going, man, who are those guys? <laughs> and everybody's like, that's my guy. I was like, oh, that's the guy. That's him. So, you know, when you took off, there were so many things happening media-wise, radio-wise, right. TV-wise. Uh, things have changed. It's not like that here in right. Houston. But the one thing that you keep up with in your organization, you have people that help you with the social media. You're very right. much with Facebook, with Twitter, with, right. with being out there. Does that really help you? Is that the additional push that you need out here yeah, right now? I think definitely. I think social media is really, um, is really a big plus for me as an artist, you know, and, and I'm able to keep in contact with my fans, you know, and I've got my... Uh, Mike Salgado fan page that All I right. want you guys to go out there and like right now. Correct. Uh, of course, I've got, I'm on Twitter under Mike Salgado underscore, so follow me there as well. And so, you know, if you got these uh, 
different social media uh, that people can stay in contact with us so it's really helped me correct you know and, and you know you let people know when you're going to be in town you know because that's the way of the world now you know it's twitter it's facebook it's you know that's it's, what it's a it's, mobile phone yeah. and i can keep in contact with everybody yeah definitely you so know I mean? you know it's, you're, i'm talking to the fans on a daily basis that's and good. and so you know, it's really great you know i mean we get into town and you know ya 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 llegamos a houston y la gente sabe no pues ya viene ya está aquí take a picture of when you just got to the club yeah. hey we're here the show's going on come on down and that's a blessing man yeah. so what what do you do when you think of things that you want to put out there what do you limit yourself on what kind of information you put out there or do you like sharing some of the personal or do you just keep it more for the business side of things how do you do that well every now and then you know I'll put some personal but you know i'm kind of more uh reserved in that area but you know I, i like to let the fans know what's going on in in my career and my gotcha. business and so you know we i always try to let them know of the good things that are coming sure. and, you know like we've got i've done a few country songs and and you know we we've, we've posted that up you know where people can hear um one of my ladies she's Correct. got one hell of a memory uh they're able to check out that video and and listen to the song and so it's a great opportunity you know to, for people right. to be able to hear uh, all the things from their favorite artist Correct, and then that's the, and you got a, quite a variety though too. A lot of people just think, oh, he's norteño, obviously, oh, he's tejano. Uh, you do the country thing real good, and and here as of late, I've been noticing that people are asking for the country, the honky tonk, cantinas. Right. I mean, all the music that you've been doing does get quite a bit of airplay. I know uh, being at radio is one of the stations that plays that country song quite a right. bit. Right, honky tonks, cantinas. I remember going to do an interview out there and. People responded really well, and they they've been playing it ever since. Yeah. Gracias a Dios, y la gente pues, I got a, a very great positive response on yeah. Honky Tonk Cantinas. Uh, also, I I did a couple of more, and so getting a good response on. She's got one hell of a memory as well, and yeah. people are you know they're asking me when you're going to put out a, a country album, a full album, country yeah. Wise. And so uh, working on that as well. Okay. You know, I do want to put out a country CD and. You know, see where it takes me and, and go from there. Well, I, you need to say, one of the deals, that, and when you say that to me, you mention that to me, is the fact that I know one of your models is Musica Sin Fronteras. Right. It has no boundaries, and you're right on that, bro. Right. That's a, that's a good one. Don't think I don't know about it, because <laughs> I do. That's a good deal. So I'll tell you what, we're going to take a short break. We're going to take a quick commercial break, and then we'll be coming back with another video. So stay tuned. We'll Thanks a lot. <laughs> Hola, I uh, want to welcome you guys out to TejanoConcerts.com TV show. We have the pleasure of having Michael Salgado, award-winning uh, Grammy and uh, Latin Grammy nominating uh, artist, Tejano Music Award winner, over four awards, if I'm not mistaken. Am I right, Mike? Sí, por ahí, por ahí. Más o menos cuatro. Si Dios quiere, le dan otros cinco. No hay Verdad, right. Dios quiera, Dios quiera. Hey, well, thank you very much for taking the time to visit with us, brother. Uh, I know this is your first time here at Frontera. Right. Uh, what do you think about uh, being here in front of a club that uh, is... Right in the middle, Tejano, Norteño, yeah. right in the middle of everything. Well, it's great because, you know, I'm kind of uh, in the middle too, you know. Uh, mi música pues uh, entra al mercado Tejano como al mercado mexicano, so, pues que bueno, you know, it's, uh, it's going to be a, a good night donde va uh, una variedad, variedad de yeah. gente, ¿no? Y pues, uh, glad to be here Frontera tonight, pues esperamos que... Good. It'll be a good combination, man. And uh, when I was reading up on you, um, this is one of the things that I found really interesting. And we're going to do it here in a minute. We'll get, we'll get the accordion. But now, being left-handed, the accordion is made one way. Am I correct? Yeah, the accordion is made, you know, the way they normally make the accordions. Okay. And uh, so But I just you, turn them around. You just flip it. And then it's so even by flipping it, though, the buttons are upside down. Right, right. But I didn't, you know, I, I didn't even... Uh, take notice to that when i was starting out well i'm taking i'm trying to think that's like that's like driving on the on the left hand side of the roadway upside down right to play the accordion which is something unique bro how 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 are you able to to put that in your mind bro because i mean that's a different combination yeah. of playing than totally anything else i think you know what helped me is i didn't really think about that about you know well this is the wrong way or the keys are upside down and i was basing uh more of my learning on ear you know okay. El oído, and so, right. you know, that's how I was, uh, uh, started learning all the songs when I was, you know, started picking up different songs in the accordion, that's how I would do it, you right. know, and so, right. um, 
I think that if I would have thought about it, you know, like you guys, uh, I well, think that I, it would have been a little bit more difficult yeah, for me. bro, what I'm looking at, because I'm even thinking about it going, wow, I mean, to, to, to one thing is to flip it or even play it behind your head, but then to flip it and turn it around upside down, bro, that's a totally different phenomenon there, bro, <laughs> and, and I don't think the guys know that, that the recording is flipped and upside down. Right. Yeah, I just flip it. Uh, it's upside down. Like I said, it's a, a normal accordion, yeah, you yeah. know, that a right-handed uh, – Musician can play. Correct. I just turn it around. He puts the and and, and and did it, your dad when you told your dad, Dad, I want to learn the accordion? Was he the one to say, Well, Mijo, this is what you're gonna have to do? No, he didn't really. No. And I'm kind of glad he didn't okay. tell me. You know, he just, I just kind of would pick it up. You know, it was, it was. Uh, we had like a practice sure, room, and sure. I'd go in there when I was younger, and you know, I, I would uh, pick it up and and it was back then. I listened a lot to Ramon Ayala, Los Correct. Bravos, no? Correct. Um, Those I are some of your idolize his music, yeah, no? and yeah. big influence of mine. So. Sure. Uh, you know, I'd pick up, you know, and try to learn different songs of theirs, and and um, that's how I got started. But you know, gotcha. my dad, actually, you know, when I noticed, kind of people would say, "Well, you know, anda borracho, mijo, que tiene <laughs> el acordeón al revés," and I would like look at him like, "Why are they telling me that?" Yeah, because they didn't realize you're left-handed. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. That's a that's a weird thing, man. And then when you guys were learning and we playing with your father right. and your brothers, uh -huh. um, how old were you guys when you initially started to play juntos together, man? When, how old were you guys? Must I think, us. I think I was about 14, you know, and my brother Ernie, was, he okay. started after, okay. actually. It was me and my dad, two uncles, okay. uh, two brothers of my father, you know. And so we started first, and I was playing bass, and un tío mío, tío Vivian, was playing bajo sexto, y mi tío Jaime en la batería. And then my dad was actually on the accordion. And so, uh, but, you know, I liked the accordion always. I was like, you know, I, I just... I want to be, you know, lead singer, and I want to be a stand in the middle, and, you know, so I got to play accordion hey, and that's, to yeah, do that. Yeah, <laughs> you do. And, and, and do you, when you play in the accordion, and I notice your style is a lot more different. There are guys that, that are bouncing around and jumping around and, and doing all that, which right. is great. It's part right. of a show. Right. That's their style. But I find you more to be a crooner because you're there, you play your music, you do right. your deal. But the rhythm and the enthusiasm comes out of that accordion. It's not that you have to be jumping around doing any of that. It's what you're playing with. Yeah, I mean, I was I was always, you know, about the music. And so, you know, I, I'm not really an entertainer in that aspect, you right. know, in, in that area. But, you know, uh, I applaud the guys who do it. And, Correct. you know, they, they, there's a lot of different musicians who do a great show like that. Me, you know, I'm more about the music and more about the singing and giving that, you know, the great feel to a song. And so, uh, you know, I kind of entertain a little different, but... Uh, La verdad, pues sí. You know, we 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 started uh, back in the day. You know, with my father and and like I said, my brother came in a couple years after. Once I learned accordion, then my brother started learning how to play bass, wow. and so he was playing bass. You know, when I went to accordion, and after some years, you know, my brother Ernie went to bajo sexto, which wow. that's what he plays now. Nah. But oh, that's kind of the way we got started. And and that's a good thing though. When you got family to travel with and know. Um, and I know in dealing with both you guys, it's it's like dealing, when I'm talking to him, it's like I'm talking to you. When I'm talking <laughs> to him, it's like, you know, they know, you guys know each other right hand and left hand, and that's right. a great concept. Yeah, we've been know? together ever since, you know, we've been very young. So, uh, you know, been, been together playing now for about 20 years. Yeah. And so, you know, ya se va conociendo uno más. You Correct. Know? You know the styles and, and what you're shooting for, even right. with just a wink or a look right. or a wave. What you're going to do. Yeah, they conocen las manias like, you know, the back of your hand. Correct, so. correct. I'll tell you what, we're going to take a short break. We're going to play your new video, the most current one, which is Buscando, Buscando un Amor. Amor. Yeah, so it's a great song, so check it out. We're going to send it over to Jessica. Thank you for tuning in Concerts.com. And here are the new videos for this week. Check it out.
busca mamón Pero llegaste y así comprendí Que tú eres mi todo que tengo aquí I got serenaded on TV. Oh, my of goodness. Course. Thank you, Jessica. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank well, you. guess what, chicas? Michael Salgado, of course, you have to sing his songs. Beautiful songs que tiene. Y ahora en la noche lo va a presentar todo. Great. And I'll tell you what, <laughs> besides all of that, we got some great new videos to be showing you guys. We got plenty to talk about with Michael Salgado. And then our calendar events, since you like to sing so much. What do you think? Oh, yes. We have a bunch of, call of events coming up soon. If you want to go check it out, please go to TejanoConcerts.com. Y por favor, check all the events because we're having more to come. That's right. So you can be there by yourself. You can bring your mom. You can bring your dad. You can bring the wife. Or Everyone. you can bring the Sancha. That's up to you. <laughs> This week's Tejano Concerts calendar of events is brought to you by BNET Radio with the music you grew up with, FEMAS. This week's Tejano Concerts calendar of events at The Shoot in Baytown, Texas, at Showdown's Dance Hall and Saloon in Houston, Texas, at BB Wolf's in Stafford, Texas, at Graham Central Station in San Antonio, Texas. At New West in Dallas, Texas. Be sure to visit TejanoConcerts.com website as well as Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube for more information. Hey, Michael, um, you know what? If uh, we can do this, this is one thing that I want to do later on tonight when you perform. We're going to okay. videotape. But I want, you to, I want you to walk up at one point. I'm going to get a picture of you with the accordion, the correct way that a right-handed person would play it. Right. And then I want to see how you turn it around so you can play it because I want them to see it later. Okay. okay sounds we'll like do a that. Plan. But uh, after we do that and, and everything that's been going on, man, um, you know, there's so many major events coming up. Uh, there's right. the uh, the Tejano Convention in Vegas, right. uh, things of that nature. What, where, where do you see yourself doing some of those things, and what, where inside you says that's an event that I want to be a part of? How do you decide those things? Well, you know, I think that uh, like the uh, Tejano, the, the Vegas Convention, yes. I'm going to be a part of that this year. Good. I'm actually doing a couple of songs uh, with uh, Palominos, actually singing a couple of songs with them this year. So you know, I haven't been to, been to the uh, Vegas Convention. Uh, in, a, in a, you know, quite a few years. And, and, and that's so one of the things I notice about your schedule, because I, you know, I work with Bill, Bill Angelini, right. bookhuman.com. He, he's the one that handles your stuff, and he and I talk quite a bit. And we were talking, and, and you're probably one of the better artists at, at not really overplaying in one city constantly. Right. You really spread it around and gel it pretty well. Yeah, I try to, you know, I try to stay away, you know, four to six months from the city and, you know, to kind of keep the market, you know, fresh and not burn it out. And so I think that uh, every artist should do that, Good. you know, and it's just, it just, it's more longevity, I believe. And so it's worked for me, you know, and, and uh, so, yeah, Bill's a great guy. Yeah. We're, we're, we're no longer uh, partners as far as booking, okay. but, but he still sells, sells dates for me. And Correct. I've known him for many years. Great guy. And, Good. and we continue Good. to do business. And, yeah. and so, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely, um, for me, important to kind of stay away from certain areas. You know, there's times that I'll go play in if it's a special occasion, a certain type of event. Like this year, we're going to be at Fan Affair in March. Correct. And uh, I'll be there. I'm going to be I'm going to be performing out there, and of course, uh, signing autographs for the Good. fans. Good. And of course, in August, doing the uh, the Vegas convention. Good. So looking forward to that, and got some other great things uh, coming for for this year. Uh, 
Uh, and um, but I'm gonna kind of keep it hush hush until I close the deal on that. But I remember putting that up on Facebook the other day. You know, I've got some good news, and they're like, "Yes, I saw what that. Is it? What is yeah, it? I was. Everybody, I saw all the comments being yeah, put on there. Who, what, talk, talk to me. <laughs> Tell me now. I want to yeah, know now. And so, you know, you know, I just kind of want to keep it hush hush yeah. until well, I get it closed up. But it, but it's a good opportunity, sure. and so looking forward to closing that deal. And, as well. and when you're dealing with all this, and then you're doing all these things, and you go out of state. The merchandise has to be there. You, right. you I'm sh- and I know you. You show up with good merchandise. You have that out there. Right. And and because of the fact that the the lack of product being in the stores nowadays for Tejano music, it's important for an artist to have that, right? Definitely, you know. Definitely, I think people, you know, always want llevarse un recuerdo, no, del artista. And so I think it's important to have the product out there and to have shirts and to have, you know. As many things as as you want. I mean, right. it's, it's really up to the artist what he wants to put out there for the fans. And do you okay? But, but being that okay, do, do you cater more to the female audience as far as when you say, "Well, this I want a shirt in there pink," and are you guys go, "Well, I'm not going to wear a pink shirt." <laughs> I either. You better make it in black right. or something, right? No, well, we well, we, we cater that? to both. We cater okay. to the guys. You know, we make the the guys shirts. You know, with with the logo on them and the girls, of course, with my picture yeah. on them. And and so uh, we've even had some. Uh, some underwear you know for the girls and so yeah i mean we cater to the girl you know i've got a lot of female fans sure and so uh you know i think that uh, do, you, do, you, do you have a female assistant helping you with that or is that from the male perspective that you decide this is what i'm going to do for the females well actually my daughter you know she works in the office with me and Good. so uh you know she's she got a lot of ideas and and so she's a big help in that area and so you know she thinks well this this so i think girls will like this and you know you get it from a girl's perspective so and um, a younger generation right younger generation so correct. all that really is good input for me correct correct now when you guys do that and you total that with your family you have your daughter helping you have your your brother the ernie i know does a lot of things for you right you know and all that but aside from that i know you you have a publicist you have someone that helps you with all that publicity right. is is it hard when when they tell you well we can't do this show or we're not able to do this or this or that do you make arrangements to try to come back and catch it up and do something different to help out with that definitely you know we'll always find a way uh, to uh to try to make things right or, or try to do the show that wasn't able to be done at the time so you know there's always ways to to, to accommodate go, yeah, yeah. To, yeah. To, to go around those situations but you know yeah i got a great team you know uh working you've got norma duran yeah. doing the publishing Correct. she's uh, doing all the publicity for me the pr yeah. and so uh she's working in that area you know and of course the band uh when we uh record the records and everything and so they're doing their part as well so everybody's you know, doing everything needed yeah. to be done. Because I know you're success. one of the first artists there, uh, Tejano wise that that on a regular basis is out there in Miami doing the TV shows and getting bigger uh, national right. views of everything, not just locally. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, th- I think it's definitely important. You know, and you get a lot of people that uh, really you get the feedback. You know, on Twitter and Facebook. You know that they were able to see me on uh, Despierta America yes. or Gordo yeah. Flaca. Yeah. So I think it's very important, and I think you know we're going to be. Right now, we got Buscando Amor is the um, the uh, recent single that's been out right now, but we're getting ready to, to release a new song Good. Uh, here in mid-March around there. And so uh, once we get that out, and going to be working on a video, so be looking for the video as well. And then uh, probably be going to do uh, Sábado Gigante Good. as well. So looking forward to doing that. And once again, shows. for everybody to tune in to what you're going on, what where do they need to go to as far as Facebook? They need to go to uh, go like my page, Michael Salgado Artist page, uh, and follow me on Twitter, Michael Salgado underscore. And, of course, you can go to uh, MikeSalgado.com, my website, where you can find out all the tour dates, you know, where we're going to be at. Thank you. We'll be right back. Ya no llores muchachita, no estés pensando en él Eres apenas una niña y empiezas a aprender Por hoy se fue el amor, quizás mañana volverá No debes llorar más, pronto lo olvidarás Son cosas del amor Que te hagan llorar Son cosas del amor Que ya hay 
llegado yo a tu corazón Son cosas de How are you feeling? Hector, I'm so tired. Oh, wow. Nos hizo bailar hasta el cansancio Michael Salgado. Pero fue un performance del año. Oh, my gosh. Nos hizo bailar. He forced us. We had to. If we didn't, it was not going to be a good show. Exactly. I tell you what, it was pure joy. The music, the environment, the people. people. It was fantastic. It what was beautiful. We love Michael Salgado. And hopefully he can, he can come back soon because we love him. You should have seen the fans. They were crazy girls. Guys. You know it. Everyone awesome. was here. Awesome. And I tell you what, thank you for tuning in. Keep up with us on TejanoConcerts.com, our Facebook page and everything. I'm going to go take Jessica to eat some tacos. She's starving. Her feet hurt. I'm probably going to have to give her a rub down or something. I'm tired. So, guys, please, tune in next week. We'll see you soon. Thank you, guys. Have a good night and see you next week. Hasta Love you. Bye-bye.